Thanks for tuning in everyone. In this episode we uh, head out near Elk River, do some camping, but more importantly it was a shakedown test of the uh, the new setup that I have going on. I have a brand new Rugged Ridge Exotop which includes a soft top and uh, basically a roof rack all combined into one. And uh, put the, uh, the Smittybilt rooftop tent on it and we had to go out and give it a shakedown trial. So it was a perfect weekend for it. Anyways, sorry about this next section. The audio was a little off, but thanks for tuning in. It was a great camping weekend. Off and running. We're gonna do the uh, shakedown on the, uh, the new top and the rooftop tent. Kind of see how it works out. Uh, heading out on the Forster Trunk Road. Gonna meet Rick and uh, Greg out there. Should be a pretty fun night. One thing I do notice at highway speeds, this top is a lot noisier. So that's the first thing I noticed. Anyways, have fun. Man, what a beautiful day to head out into the mountains. So we were heading out to camp near the Clearwater River just off the Forester Trunk Road. It's uh, basically just south of Rocky Mountain House and only takes roughly about an hour to get there from Rocky. Uh, beautiful drive. This is a great little camp spot to add to your repertoire, especially if you're going up and down the forestry trunk road and kind of need to plan your camp spots. This spot's great. picking the campsite, decided to uh, set the tent up, and uh, it was relatively easy to set up, uh, nothing out of the ordinary there.
time to enjoy the campsite. Rick and his wife were going to ground tent it this time. Um, came out with the new Gladiator setup, brand new 37s on it, really beautifully uh, done up. Um, but Rick's going to start going with the rooftop tent, so it'd be interesting to see how he uh, changes his build in the future here. So our campsite was visited by some rather brave whiskey jacks. Um, they definitely did not have any fear of us. They just wanted to be fed. Awesome. It was about now that uh, Greg decided to uh, show up. He took the long route in to uh, get to the campsite. Definitely enjoyed his drive for the day. And this is his new to him Jeep. Um, actually kind of a cool little rig. He's sleeping inside, kind of like I used to. And uh, kind of neatly done up. I, I'm actually pretty, uh, pretty impressed with it. So as things were kind of winding down for the night, we all decided to break out all our food and cook it on the campfire. Great night, great food, and great friends. All right, tent set up. Doing pretty good. I got the buddy heater in here so that it's uh, getting it warm. Heats up pretty quick, actually. I can see turning it on and letting it go for a few minutes and shutting it off again. But uh, yeah, all said and done, I think it's gonna be a pretty good night. It's a good thing I brought the buddy heater. It was about negative 14 throughout the night and then it got warmer uh, as morning came. That buddy heater took the chill off. It was it was the perfect thing. Ah, coffee in the morning. There is nothing better than campfire coffee.
coffee and breakfast out of the way, it was time to head home. All in all, pretty good weekend. Uh, it was definitely different sleeping in the tent versus in the Jeep. Successful. Um, it was a it was a great sleep. A little bit more foamy in the tent though. I'm I'm thinking it was a little hard, but uh, yeah, we'll get her figured. We'll get her figured.